Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritual with Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today, I have for you guys your crush's sexual feelings. As always, we have two pals here. And before I get started, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And do, no do note that with these readings, um, energies are exchangeable. So if you resonate more with the opposite of what I'm saying, sex-wise... Um, then you can use that thing. So if you resonate more with feminine, but I'm saying from masculine perspective, just change that perspective, all right? So we have two pals to pick from here. We have pal one, sexual magic tarot, and then we have pal two, the renaissance tarot. So please pick your pal, and I will see you at your reading. So starting with an energy cleanse, welcome to your readings, Pow Ones. Thank you so much for joining. And this is also for Pow Two as well. All right, so this would be your crush's sexual feelings for you. All right, thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you are having a lovely day. All right, so Pow Ones sexual crushes sexual feelings for them. We have the Five of Pentacles. So this could be someone from past. Oh, this is too much. Someone from the past that you still have romantic feelings for. If not, they could be, there's just some element of maybe like there was some kissing, some touching, but like maybe not all the way. But for some of you guys, yes, all the way. Yes, we have the sun here. This could also be someone that you are friends with or that you see the potential of friendship as well. Are they in you? Since it is their feelings. But honestly, I'm feeling more of your energy currently, but knowing that energies are highly reflective as well. We have here the eight of cups. Exactly. There's definitely, I feel some history here that keeps coming up. The king of wands. Your person loves that booty. The king of wands is a booty man. So maybe he like to slap your butt a lot. Or this person wants to like slap your butt <laughs> as he's penetrating you. <laughs> or as they're penetrating you. You know, again, switch the roles if they don't fit. Um, but yes, a lot of... Uh, I feel a mildly aggressive energy here. I'm not going to lie, but it's not in this weird way, you know. It's in a very controlled way. And one more. I was going to do four, but five looks more appropriate. We have here the page of pentacles. Your person definitely, they have this really forward energy about themselves, but then they also can pull back super, super quickly. So that may make them come off as being slightly confusing and or just um, changeable. But I really, I feel this is more so indecision. But anyways, your crush is sexual feelings for you because you're not asking about what they're thinking, right? I feel that sexual feelings are very tied up in how they're thinking about you, actually. So maybe that's why I'm going into what they are feeling. But uh, what they want to do with you sexually, definitely make love to you. I'm just, I feel here more of a friendship energy like more so of like um a romantic energy like a romantic sex versus um like that animalistic sex you know um so i think i'm sensing more so of romantic energy here with your person so there are some emotions tied up um when they are or when they think about making love to you if they have but i feel for a lot of you guys either this person thinks about it a lot or you guys have already kissed touched or like Something has already happened, whether this be here, um, in the 3D or in the 5D realm, wherever. Like, I just feel that there's a history here with you guys. This could even be karmic partner. Don't cringe at that name. It simply means you guys have lessons to learn together. It's a gift from the universe. Um, but yeah, 
I feel here with this individual or with this person is just sense of like wanting to hold you, but also really admiring your butt and also just wanting to caress you, wanting to like um, almost like pet you like a flower. I feel so maybe this person wants to give you flowers or, or is thinking about your flower, wink, wink, maybe wanting to lick down there. Yeah, I'm, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm sensing a lot of oral sex from this person because this vibe here feels different from this person getting what they want. Like, I feel eventually they will, like, do what they need to do for themselves. But I feel here, like, this person, like, caressing your breasts, like, your nipple holes, like, sucking and, um, sucking, like, <laughs> kind of like a baby is what I have in my head. Um, and just like really feeling all over your body and when it comes down to there, like really focusing on the nub, wink, wink, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, just, it feels definitely more like focused on you and like focused on your pleasure. Um, and like focused on admiring you, but there still could be, again, some overall confusion in this person's energy when it comes to you because we do have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck, but I guess that's why this person is your crush. Even though, again, it seems that there is some history here um all right so we have here evolution so you guys honestly may have evolved into a new phase of relationship together express more magic sky blue give it time so you may need to give this person some time to move towards you because I feel like they will eventually or they want to at least. Having emotional flexibility at this time. I feel this person is deeply, deeply um, attracted to you. And it's this attraction is deeper than just in a sexual way. I definitely feel sexual way for sure. But it's a deep chemistry that you guys are that I'm seeing here that has a lot of emotional entanglement and yeah this person really admires your breasts as well like this person they have this like deep dark controlling energy but when it comes to the specific scenario that i'm seeing in my head it's like this person is worshiping you but also just like almost like i don't know wanting to, <laughs> i guess the thing they're giving me is wanting to strangle you with love <laughs> okay so we have evolution old and new order so again this is someone from your past so someone you have a lot of like um history with i don't know if this i feel this could be definitely be past life as well we got all this beautiful red here all this like deep deep feeling deep emotion deep resonance you know like deeply penetrating into this person's being or this person deeply penetrating into your being no pun intended there or puns intended i don't know the thing but anyways you also have here reconcile differences <laughs> and la luna inner flow and cycle all right so you guys again for many of you guys i'm sensing here that this is a person you have um history with and of course it's a crush but sometimes we do have new crushes so if this is resonating maybe pal 2 is more yours but for you guys to pick this pal i feel there's definitely a lot of spiritual connection here as well even though it may not seem that way um and this is for select few you guys, by the way, spiritual connection, because not everyone will have a spiritual connection to their crush. Just saying that to be 100% clear. Um, but for, uh, for, I would say, 20% of you guys will say there's a lot of spiritual energy here because it's a deep friendship, a deep bond. So you have a deep bond with this individual or if you feel a deep bond, like intuitively, then I feel this definitely is for you. And this person is definitely like wanting to move but not knowing how because it's like, it's very emotional for them at this time and it's maybe uncomfortable. So we do have give it time here and then reconcile differences, inner flow and cycle. So honoring your feelings at this time, no matter how uncomfortable they may be. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into what your crush wants to do with you sexually. <sighs> okay, it's like flew out. Yes, exactly. I was saying this person is very like focused on them as well, but they're like I was seeing like this very like 
fixation basically on you so this person's going to be fixated on you well this person i guess in their fantasies are very fixated on you honestly I feel like with you guys do you guys have a high possibility or a high chance of mating mating <laughs> we have here judgment here the musician yes exactly you being like okay like this person wanting to move forward basically wanting to be in that snatch you know and again for some of you guys maybe um i guess i'm not giving relationship advice so i won't go down that road but um again this person being very very open really really giving we have here the seven of swords okay and we have the eight of cups again so I feel with you guys, because there is a history with a lot of the audience that's watching this particular pal, there could be some, um, there could be some reluctance or resistance, Queen of Wands, wanting to maintain your overall freedom from this person. And again, if this is not someone you know, um, then I'm reading the Seven of Swords as like, um not dubious energy but almost doubt maybe maybe doubting this person likes you doubting this person wants you but again there's a deep emotional connection here with eight of cups coming up twice i know eight of cups is normally red like we have to go in we have to clear but i'm sensing here it's like a certain death because the sun is here a certain depth that you guys have a certain chemistry that is had between the two individuals that I'm reading for undeniable <laughs> exactly undeniable Gemini energy there undeniable a lot of ego involved or at least a lot of um It's not ego per se, but it, it's resistance is what I'm reading and picking up on. Resistance. So we'll see a lot of resistance. And I'll just call everything ego, you know? I think language is very powerful. All right. So, oh, this is too much. This is what I'm like, oh, this is too much, guys. You got to condense it down. My power ones, masculine energy, you got to condense it down. Usually men are so succinct, you know? Keep it succinct. Keep it short. Keep it simple. All right. So we have, I thought about you a lot lately. I thought about you a lot lately. I got spooked. I need more time to figure things out. And one more here. Um, a message for Divine Feminine about her action. And this is from his higher self. Or your masculine, your crush is higher, so I can still feel yeah, exactly. This is a connection that you guys have already had, or from a lot of you guys have already had. Um, if not, I don't know why it's reading this way, but it's reading like you guys have like met before. Seeing you reminds me of things I know deep down, and it's not always easy to deal with. So, you trigger this person. This is an established connection, like I was reading it the entire time that way. This is an established connection. And it can also be for multiple people as well. You know, like not just one person, but multiple masculines as well. This, very, this can be complicated energy here. And last, I'm going to pull some advice for Divine Feminine. So for my people who are watching, uh, just advice for you. We'll do three cards here. They said one more for this man here. Or he wants to say something else, apparently. So I'm going to give him another shot. Um, your beauty still moves me. So he admires how beautiful you are. Time is slipping away. Mystery. I feel that time could be expiring for this connection to fully come to fruition. But there's still this mysterious aurea. And one more card from Paul Wan's higher self, please. Voyage. Going into the unknown. Health, prosperity, abundance. You are stepping into the unknown. You are enchanted at this time. This person is also enchanted with you, my love. All right. So I believe that will be all for my power ones. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. 
um, the description box down below has everything you need to know. If you would like to book a private reading with me, thank you so much. Namaste. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, Pow Twos. This would be for if you chose the beautiful Renaissance Tarot. This would be your crush's sexual feelings, all right? So I did do a cleanse in Paul Lawrence reading. If you want to go back and watch that and then come back to this portion, you can. But I did do an energy cleanse, so we are all set in a sacred space. Just wanted to mention that because I forgot to do it at the beginning of the video, and I like to do that, all right? So just hopping into your reading here. No need to postpone. This would be your crush's sexual feelings for you, all right? So we have the three of pentacles here. So this is someone that could be in your work circle is the first thing that I heard and or just someone that um, hangs around you is very casual, you know? So coming, at, as a, coming in as three of pentacles, I feel this person is trying to maintain more so of a casual viewpoint not trying to get ahead of themselves. We have the Four of Cups here. <clears throat> exactly, the Page of Swords. This person is very defensive with their energy. We also have the Page of Cups here as well. <laughs> this person likes, because this person's, you know, growing area is really exposed. The lover. This person will only do something they see long term. And I'm sensing that. Okay, so your person's very interesting because, yes, they're interested in sex. I'm seeing here this page, but I'm seeing this page of swords almost like them guarding their male chastity, if you will, or something, and not really wanting to give to any situations that don't have emotional return um, in them. All right, so, but we do have some sexual energy here. I think, but this is what they, exactly, they only reserve their sexual energy for partnership. We have, exactly, this person is very, very focused on commitment, right? So I think they like how regal you look. They like your breasts. Um, They like how you carry yourself. But with you guys, it's not giving complete sexual vibes. You know, it's more like, okay, um, I have to... Uh, no, I have to be with this person. I have to not basically fully emotionally engage and connect. And I feel this person can be quite stingy with this energy. They could see this possibility with you because you are watching this reading. Um, but they, again, are quite stingy with how they give their romantic energy, how they give their feelings. Taking a sip of water. So your person definitely is coming off as more reserved. But again, if I were reading into their sexual energy, I feel they're very like, they're very, um, they're very, what's this word I'm looking for? Um, direct in bed, you know, like they're very, they can be passionate, yes, but I feel this very direct energy about them. I feel like they know what they want, you know, and I also feel that, when if they decide to sleep with you then it will be very like exclusive or like we're now together you know like there's this person doesn't really play games or at least they're at this point where they aren't playing any games oh we have an extra card here we also have the six of wands that i don't know why this card is here it's just here but we have the six of wands i want to also put that on the table i guess I don't know, it was just sitting here. I noticed it. I'm like, wow, there's an extra card here. All right, perfect. So you also have the Six of Wands here. So this person sees you as definitely a potential match for them. Six of Wands, the um, lover, card number six here, and then Page here. So very... This person wants to grow in love versus like be willy silly, silly willy nilly, you know? Uh, yes, this person possibly have experienced a lot of stress and negativity. And so I feel this is why they are extra vigilant. You know, they're extra cautious. Yeah, they are cautious to let love enter. And possibly are focusing more on self-love, you know. 
All right, so we have expansion and new opportunity here. Act now. Mindfulness. Exactly, this person is very, this person is very serious. Your love has aged, wow. All right, so we're starting off with your love has aged. Wisdom, foresight, mindfulness, old act down. No, so, okay, so with this love, your love has aged card, doesn't have to be for everyone, but I feel that for some of you guys, this person won't move forward because um, maybe it's like they're not open enough to the idea of love right now. But we also have, again, the stress and negativity card. So it's not really surprising that this card is here, honestly, with this guy, with you guys' reading. Um, so yeah, we have your love has aged and let love enter. This person could just be resistant to overall love and um, resisting it, basically. Um, I don't know what else to say. And I feel this is definitely indicative of this page, here, this page of swords. Very diligent, you know, very militant, um, but resistant nevertheless. Nevertheless. So I feel... We're going to do one specific card for this Your Love Has Aged card. We have Queen of Swords. Just defensive. Overall defensive. All right. And um, just more into what this person wants to do sexually. Their crush. We have the Empress here. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster with this person's emotions because oof, the devil. They're just scared of commitment, is what I'm seeing here. They're not, or they're open to it, but it's worrisome for them, you know? We have here the Five of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Wands there. I think your person sees you as someone who's worthy, but they just, they, they are approaching situations regarding love very, very cautiously, almost to the point of not allowing it to like fully happen or not allowing it to fully, um, let, not allowing it to fully be let in. And so I feel this real love has aged card is go is saying that this person's sexual feelings um run deeper than just sexual feelings. It's very, very deep for them. So we have here, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Insecurity. I'm not the same person that you remember. I'm a much better headspace now. And one more. Seeing you reminds me of things I know deep down and it's not always easy to deal with. So triggering. You feel like home to me. I don't know, for ending you guys' this reading, I am getting more sadder energy here, more melancholy energy here as I'm ending the reading. So I feel that you guys, may, you guys, person, or you, may be going through phases at this time, or certain phases at this time. Um, but yeah, I, I think I was saying this person has more, rom more romantic than sexual energy and i feel that i know this love your love has age card for me just not didn't throw things off but it almost allowed me to see that this person there's just so guarded or so um like um they're not not open but just very reserved um and so it just may be somewhat of a challenge this partnership or this crush that you have 
we have key unlock yeah you would have to like kind of unlock this person's spirit or soul hidden veil pin creation snake forbidden yeah and i feel this is like your person's energy look they're like this is something is off limits to me i can't do this because it's off limits to me four 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 your hard work and determination is creating best foundations for the future eggs incubation and this is your overall advice by the way earn morning good luck has aged hat rolls so i feel there's still a potential here um in this situation but um just i guess not putting oh we have the egg eggs incubation not putting all of your eggs in one basket but also using tools at your disposal um to <clears throat> to um i guess to manifest the outcome that you want you know because i'm not seeing that there's a lack of connection between you and this individual um but what i am seeing is that this person's sexual feelings are precluded by the fact that they need romantic connection or they want romantic it's like, almost like they they demand romantic um reciprocation and that's not always sexual you know um and this could even be coming from you as well um but yeah i feel the ending here is very ambiguous meaning things can go either way so just keeping that in mind making sure that you're feeding your mind positivity staying on your mental diet especially if this is something that you're wanting to manifest express your true authentic self express what it is that you truly desire what it is that you truly want all right so i want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you for liking commenting and subscribing and the description box down below has everything you need to know if if you would like to book a private reading with me thank you for following me on all of my social medias thank you namaste